the mastermind of this of this uh, genius act. Then we have Arinzi Uzo. He is Arinzi Uzo, also 26 years of age. Then we have Solomon Kletus. He is Solomon Kletus, 30 years of age. And then we have Israel Obia Geremu, 35 years of age. They conspired to carry out this serious and the third act. Yes, I, I did my preliminary and I went through my medical college in Edinburgh and I graduated and then I came back to the country and then I've been doing some small, small mining businesses, buying some petty golds and casting and you know, selling. And that's it basically. No, I didn't. I didn't do anything online. It was the address, the advert on the board. Yes, in this property, it was an online thing. So I think the security of the house now called him that someone is interested, and that was how he ordered the person to give me his contact. Then we talked. So his visit to Lagos. I mean, sorry, to Abuja, we met, then they came to Lagos. It was in Lagos, the gruesome attitude took place. So, how did this one now happen? How did it happen? Yeah, I invited him to my hotel room at Atikan, where he used to work. You have planned you are going to kill him. You have planned it. Okay. So, how did it happen? Yeah, that's why I invited him. When I invited him over the property sale, and I, I invited him to my hotel room, and he came to my hotel room. Before then, I've... They've already stationed in my room, so when he came, we were able to. I screamed at him. At the point of trying to grip his fears, they were able to get him from the back and um, who subdued him. So you have planned it before you now carried out the action. Yes, please. What made you to believe killing him is how you can get money from him? That was lost. You lost how? It's lost for material things. Hmm? We lost how? I say it's a lost for money. So have you gotten the money now? Are you no. satisfied uh, the way you are? I feel like a monster. You are coming from jail and you are going back to jail. Does that bother you? It does bother me. How? How? How does it bother you? It does bother me. Who did you meet in jail? You met someone here in jail. Who is the person? Solomon. You met him in jail. Solomon. Was it the one that lured you to doing this? No. So you lured him? Yes. You lured him to join you? How much were you paid? What did you pay them? Each one of them. Touch the person, tell me how much you paid. We discussed with them. They were not paid. So thereafter, how much did you give them? They are yet to be paid. Yet to be paid. So how much did you realize from this deal? Nothing. In the, in the pharmacy. Pharmacy how? Is it off the counter drug or injection? I know it's off counter. But I discussed um, with the pharmacist and they gave me the poison book to sign. No, it, you signed. You signed yes, it. that's right. Okay. It's not on the shelf. Uh -huh. It's off shelf. Uh -huh. Yes. So, so it, yeah, and they gave it to me. Where exactly? In what area? I don't know. Aja? Is it in Aja? Is it in yeah, I think it's around here. Around Aja here. Okay. I work at African Beach Hotel. African Beach Hotel. Yeah. Okay. So how did you get to know this man? He was once our guest in the hotel. Okay. So he comes often and go. That is where I know him. Okay. So how did he approach you? It was on that Sunday that he called me that I have a guest that I should help him out and stay with him in the hotel before the guest will arrive. That was it, man. So, so now? So, when the guest arrived, he instructed me and uh, Solomon to hold him so that he can inject him. So, he injected the man and after the injection, he asked us to go that the man will wake up so we are on our way going home before he called up that the, the man couldn't wake up again or that we should come back. That was what happened. Okay, so who disposed of the body? It's uh, me and Solomon. Okay, how did you do that? He put it inside the sack. Who, who dis um, back, uh, dis um, the body? 
who cut the body into? The body was not cut. So what mm. We put it inside the sack and uh, uh, tie it with a solo tape. Okay. Yeah, and brought it down here. Was there a party that night at the hotel? It was weekend and it was a, like a, a party for everybody. It's a beach. Okay. So everybody comes to the beach to enjoy weekend. No, no, it doesn't. How do you feel that you are caught in this and you are going to prison? How do you feel? I feel very bad and uh, it wasn't what I planned in my life because I, I didn't even think of killing anybody before then. Because what happened, I don't even know how it happened. Because he didn't tell us that he wants to kill the man. So once the man is dead and I, I don't have any other way to free myself, that was the reason I, I came back to, you know, help him and carry the body out. It wasn't my intention to kill you. I have not that kid in my life before. Okay. I was annoyed because I, I was helpless. I, I need someone to assist me. And that was why he invited me. That I did. It was him himself, the back of the house. Yes, he hit him by the back, not the sharp side. It's a lie. It's all in the statement. He said you were the one. No, I was the one. Who nobody talk about this. It goes like this. All text is that a new and highly sophisticated dimension has been introduced into cyber crime. At first, it was Yahoo Yahoo. We had to contend with it. Later, we battle with Yahoo Plus until the discovery of this latest one by this syndicate, which is about the deadliest in the annals of internet fraud. No one is free from them as long as you are on social media space. However, the only way out is to abstain from unnecessary and flagrant flaunting of one's achievement and wealth on social media. Members of this syndicate who are here with us are so callous that they hack into Facebook accounts, peruse your profile. Once they find anything appealing to them, in you, you become a very big fish. All they do is to start working on you. They will start by sending you friend requests. The moment you respond in affirmative, you are already a target. They will start by selling dummies of business, ideas in your area of speciality. And by human nature, the insatiable spirit in us tempt us to crave for more. Today we are parading the four suspects who orchestrated the killing of the gang's latest victim. Their despicable conduct connotes a high level of wickedness hinge on abysmal loss of moral values. One Ignatius Adunukwe, a successful businessman and a philanthropist who was into estate development and gold mining fell a victim of this heartless syndicate and now he's virtually murdered. And this is his remains here. He left his residence number four, Maduke Street off Raymond Injoku Street, Southwest Ikoi, in Lagos on December 1st, 29, never to return home. The family members, in a petition to my office as the AIG in charge of Zone 2, narrated their trauma since the sudden disappearance of their loved one. On this note, I summoned the tactical commander of Ikorodu office of Zonal Intervention Squad of the Operation Pop Ada, SP Uba Adams, and directed him to go after the victim abductors, ensure their arrest, as well as to rescue the victim alive. Alas, even before investigation commenced, the victim had been killed. It was the same day, December 1st, he was declared missing that they killed him in the most horrifying and cruel manner. He was strangled and injected with poisonous and lethal substance in a hotel room in Aja area of Lagos State. Bob Daniel Ibeji, the principal mastermind,
who claim to be a medical doctor with the following qualification certificate, MBBS, fellow of Royal College of Surgery, a member of Royal College of Surgeon, all in Edinburgh in United Kingdom, as well as an MBA in Zurich, is the kingpin of the syndicate, and he is here standing. Investigation revealed that he had been living on ill-gotten money through this means for some time now. Two incidents that have been established against him were that of a civil commissioner in Bayelsa State, where one honorable Depologa was murdered and his remains was found along Abuja David. Expressway. David. This happened a week after his encounter with the victim at Ibeto Hotel in Abuja, which during their discussion offered to give him the sum of 220 million naira for a block of flat situated at Durimi in Abuja, and the victim's wife had to flee Nigeria, why we never to turn back. The second victim was one Jude, a full way, a property developer in Abuja, who swam into Bob's net and held him captive in an apartment and forced him to sign a prepared document transferring the ownership of the victim's property. He also discovered that the victim had nine million in his account. His plan was to kill Jude after sweeping his account. But with the help of neighbors who called the police, Bob and his boys were apprehended and charged to court accordingly. It was in Kuja prison where Cletus was also serving a jail term. This is boss and that is Cletus. That he, Bob, met and had to reunite on leaving the prison to execute this present the start act. It was Bob who conversed the late Ignatius with a business idea to the tune of 900 million, following which they fixed an appointment at Atikam Beach Resort, Aja, Lagos, having deployed the three other suspects on red alert, that is Arinze and the other person on this side. After cajoling Ignatius, that is the victim you are seeing his remains here, to signing their ag agreed documents, he lured him into his hotel room, where his boy gave him a helping hand. As a pre-arranged scenario, Bob had armed himself with a little injection. He purchased that Sunday afternoon after having confirmed that the victim was on his way to the beating. In the hotel room, Bob instructed one of his boys to fetch him a bag he came with, pretending as if it was the money to be handed over to the victim. Investigation revealed that as the victim was about to open the bag, that is the remains of the victim lying down here, to ascertain what was inside the bag, Bob grabbed him from behind while one of the boys hit the victim with an axe on the back head. There and then, he dragged him to the toilet, strangled him, and with the assistance of these, his cohorts who held the victim down, Bob injected him twice with a lethal injection. Convinced that the deed had been done, Bob gave directives to his boys to evacuate the corpse and be thrown away. As directed, the boys did their matters bidding. Search for a very big carton, drop the content in a, in a waiting vehicle, park at the exit at the backyard of the hotel leading from the hotel's laundry. The three errand boys took away Ignatius' lifeless body and threw in the canal, this area. That is what brought us to this place. Meanwhile, our operatives have recovered the car from the canal in Ogumbo Forest. The SUV of Ajarod also recovered was the victim's forerunner SUV that was tracked to Atikan Resort Beach, as well as his documents found in possession of Bob in Abuja, because the principal suspect was traced and tracked and arrested in Abuja. The late Ignatius Adunikwe never had a premonition of the locking danger ahead of him. He drove himself to the point of death. The four suspects had confessed to, the con committing, to committing the crime. Asked what prompted him, that is the principal subject to be heartless. Bob, a native of Ogu, Enugu, Ogu in Enugu state, said it was lost for money. Hmm. 
Two of his cases are currently undergoing trial at Apo High Court in Abuja. It suffices to say, therefore, to appeal to all and sundry to be cautious of what they post out about themselves, avoid, in, avoid being enticed with quick money making businesses and how you make friends on social media. <laughs>